Hi friends, today we are giving my office a makeover. My office is used for working my day job, studying programming, and running my small business. But this room is so cramped, oftentimes I feel unmotivated to do anything here. I decided to create the office that I look forward to working in by getting rid of some furniture, rethinking the layout, and decluttering. Once I found the right place for my desk, I knew I wanted to create a dried floral wall hanging above it so I could admire it every day. I love making arrangements from dried florals, so instead of buying new florals for this project, I challenged myself to use what I already had. For the wall hanging, I used chicken wire from Michaels. Once I determined the shape that I wanted, I used zip ties to secure it in place. To affix the chicken wire to the wall, I used two command hooks. And for the design that I went for, I knew I wanted something that was asymmetrical and full of different textures. I didn't have a plan or a reference photo in mind. I just started. Explain something. Now for the office reveal. <laughs> this is a pretty small space so there's not really much to reveal. My business supplies line the back wall creating separation but avoiding clutter. I also used the iMac for printing my artwork and for processing orders so I didn't want to part with it. I chose to move the shelf that stores my equipment so it isn't the first thing I see when I walk in each day. And for my desk, having an area that's visually stimulating is vital. I swapped the dual monitors for a 28 inch 4K Samsung monitor so I can still be productive when I'm working but it doesn't overpower my desk. And it's great because I can plug in my MacBook to work on art or for coding. And finally, my favorite part of my office, my floral wall hanging. I knew that I wanted the wall hanging to be asymmetrical and I wanted the floral placement to be atypical because the idea behind this is that 
Whenever I'm feeling fatigued from work, I can just stand up and take a look at the design, spot out different florals that maybe I overlook, and take in beauty from some of the larger pieces like the mushrooms. I am so happy with how everything turned out and I hope you enjoy this video too. This project was not very hard to put together and I'll put in the description bar below where I got my florals and some tips and tricks.